The Intelligence Committee of the United States Senate has released its long-awaited congressional report detailing the CIA's use of torture on prisoners in the wake of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. The executive summary of the roughly 6,000-page report was finally published by the Senate Intelligence Committee at 9 December 2014. A fraction of the full report, the 480-page executive summary, contains the committee's conclusions concerning the post-9-11 tactics deployed by the CIA under the administration of U.S. President George W. Bush in an attempt to gain intelligence from suspected terrorists. Those techniques include sleep deprivation and the simulated drowning practice known as waterboarding. Among the report's findings is that the CIA's use of enhanced interrogation techniques was not an effective means of acquiring intelligence. The CIA's justification for the use of such tactics rested on inaccurate claims of their effectiveness. The interrogations and conditions on confinement of detainees was far brutal and far worse than CIA claimed, and that the CIA actively avoided of embedded congressional oversight of the program. Some of the plots that the CIA claimed to have disrupted as a result of the CIA enhanced interrogation techniques were assessed by intelligence and law enforcement officials as being infeasible of ideas that were never operationalized, reads the report's summary. So, CIA used tortures without any results. Just because it can. <laughs>